so they continue with what they are doing. You know, you know the, 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 the thing is, uh, we are used to seeing this. We are used to seeing government uh, talking and doing committee, coming up with strategies and doing a whole lot of things. You know, the youth of nowadays are not, we're not the youth of the, of the old generations. We're the youth that move with speed, convenience, and we move by resort. We're not moved by papers, communiques, strategies, committees, and all of that. Why the youth are still out on the street is simply because they are familiar with these tactics. The same thing we've been seeing four years ago, three years ago, two years ago, up until last year, it's the same thing they've been doing. Paper, strategy, meetings upon meetings. The same people and the same committee. The youth are tired. There's no trust on all the meetings that's right. Just go on and act. All right, so for how long are you going to, uh, to, to, to be out? For how long is this going to take? Now, really, if you say me, honestly, I'll tell you it's not me. The question you should be asking is how long the legions are going to be out. The legions are going to be out so long as things does not change. We are only going to stop being out when we notice that, when we start seeing change, real change. When I mean change, not change on papers, not change by, by no verbal change. Change physically, where people who are moved by what we see. This generation wants to see results. We're only moved by results. We don't see results, we're not going to stop. We're going to keep doing this. So you think some youth are not going to wear it out? They, they, it's not, it's not, nobody's wearing out. You need to understand what is going on here. If you're not here today, you're going to be here tomorrow or next year or two years from now. We are always going to, you have to be here now. Do you understand? Yeah. I, I'm self-employed, I have my own company. We are, everybody have, not think everybody here is jobless. They are all freelancers. Do you get? We are all motivated for people to leave their job and be here. They are here because they are motivated. Nobody is paid here. Everybody came out here because he wants change. Everybody came out here because we don't want our children to point at us and say, hey, what did you do when all of these things were happening in the country? Do you get? We want to have change. We want things to happen now. Right, for, for, I think for like close to a week plus right now, um, this has been going on without a, a specific person to hold as a leader, right? Yeah. So don't you think it's high time that um, this movement or this protest have uh, maybe a group of persons who would uh, probably interrogate with the government or those people that will be called okay these are the guys leading this so that um, for coordination sake I don't know if you get what I'm No, no, I get what you mean but now do you look at everybody here do you think everybody is coordinated? Very well very much coordinated, isn't it? Do you know why? Because there's a sense of purpose. Everybody is out here. Nobody is out here looking for a leader. Everybody is leading. Look at everybody here is leading because we all have same demand. We all have same pain. Do you understand? We all are motivated. Nobody is leading this place. Everybody here is a leader. Do you get? So you can't back down. Nobody is backing down. Nobody is leading. We're only going to stop when we see that these things that we're demanding start happening. I mean, when I mean happening, not just on paper, not just on setting up committees and meetings. And we want to see them happen physically. Do you get? And this needs to happen with speed. When I mean speed, we need speed and we need results. So if you, my personal experience, because me, I live in Wari before, before I came to Abuja. You understand, I'm from Wari. So when I was coming one day, I was going to Sapla Road, along Sapla Road. That's where SAS always used to gather. So the SAS, after stop all the guys and stop me, they ask me, look at your fine bag. What, uh, what bought this bag? Your boyfriend is Ghana Boga, Abi? I said, no, my boyfriend is not Ghana Boga. They answered the boys to come down. They started checking their account balance. Started collecting 60,000 from them. They started checking if they have only a Yibo that they are shouting with. If they mistakenly see a Yibo man, Uma Pisho, they will take everyone 100,000. One that does not have money, they take that one and go. I don't know where what happened. In my presence, they stopped the motor when I was coming from Warrior, around that Warrior Express Road. That is where SAS used to gather. That is the one I see, not then so. This is not then say. So, and SAS, because I get four fresh brothers. Before I come out, I'm missing my brothers, Najib boys, because he goes scatter.